En nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Would you prefer English? The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. As we enter into these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. I confess. Almighty God, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you've bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that you in your kindness, that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised and hard in ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to this execution. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Your hands, Into your o hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust in the Lord, I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see you and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is, which, is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, let's look at the story of Stephen. He is uh, proclaiming what he has seen and heard, and the uh, elders and scribes and some of the people are are angry about that. No. Why are they angry? Well, they're afraid. Why are they afraid? Don't know, but they are. People who are afraid don't react rationally. They react irrationally. Uh, and sometimes disastrously so. Not always. Uh, one of my favorite movies ever, and maybe yours too, The Wizard of Oz. What's Dorothy to do with this cowardly lion? She should be terribly afraid, and for just an instant she is. But then she realizes to her benefit, she really has nothing to fear, and off they go to seek the wizard. But these folks, they cannot see beyond their fear, they cannot hear beyond their fear. They're, they're stuck, absolutely stuck. And in their fear, they murder. There was an op-ed piece in the paper Sunday reflecting on this ongoing mess we have in our country with uh, fear that leads to the death of black people. There was a program recently on public television about the horrible things that occurred in Tulsa quite some time ago. You had a very prosperous black community that was uh, relatively isolated in terms of geography, but in terms of business and such, pretty well integrated with the white community, doing well. And suddenly, for no apparent reason other than fear, the white folks descended on them and destroyed the community, block after block after block of buildings burned to the ground. For what? Well, in irrational fear. These people must be this or they must be that. Haven't we been whips on for the last, well, most of my lifetime with political fear? how we feared the Soviet Union. Well, before that, we feared the Nazis. And before that, we feared the who knows whom. Native Americans, they were to be, a, to be feared. They were a threat. And so we drove them away, murdered a, a fair number of them. What are we afraid of? What are these people afraid of in this 
reading from the Acts of the Apostles. I, I don't know. I don't know. What Stephen is professing is not contrary to their religion. Not at all. It may be a different language than they're familiar with hearing, a diff different vocabulary, a little different sentimentality. We've gone through small versions of it even in our Catholic community. When, do you remember when the charismatics were all the rage? And oh my gosh, people thought uh, everything was going to heck in a handbasket, right? And uh, doesn't seem to me that very much went to heck. Um, it came, it flowered. Now it seems to have withered a bit, left what was good and what was bothersome was left behind. That's typically the case, isn't it? I don't know what it's like to raise children, never raised any. I, I was raised and I certainly caused my mother plenty of reason to get angry. I don't know that I caused her any reason to be afraid, but sometimes I think the parents get afraid of what might happen if, and out of that fear of what might happen if, they can appear a little irrational to their children. And maybe they are. Maybe they are. What are we afraid of? What's the worst that could happen? That we be killed? Are we really at risk of death? I've been telling you for the last several weeks that I've purchased this little um, little house down in LaGrange, Georgia, looking forward to one day retiring. <laughs> May it be soon. Um, I always think there's got to be folks in the congregation that are thinking the same thing. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord, how long, you know. <laughs> My niece's husband's father is a police officer. And as I was looking at houses around the little town, I would say, well, what about, oh, no, 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 no. What about, no, 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 no. What, no, 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 no. What, what's the problem? Well, there's crime there. Well, what kind of crime? I mean, I'm no expert on crime, huh? But I got eyes to see and ears to hear. Uh, crime is, is very labor intensive. It really is. And so, in order for a criminal, unless they're crazy, and there's really no defense against crazy people. What can you do? You can't predict them. But if they're halfway rational, um, crime takes a lot of effort. Now you've got two sorts of violent crime, violent crime for money and violent crime for passion. Uh, now, if I don't make anybody angry, I'm not likely to be the victim of a crime of passion. Most crimes of passion happen between people who are very well known to each other and often related. Um, who can anger you more than your family, right? Crimes for profit, well, that depends on information. They got to know the victim and they got to know that the victim has something that it's worth their effort to go after. I don't have anything worth going after. So am I really at risk? Uh, the police officer cannot grasp that at all. No, nope, just crime happens there and therefore you're at risk. Well, I don't think so. But he does, and that's that. What would I rather put my attentions on? I'd rather put my attentions on this gospel Jesus says, Amen, Amen, I say to you, it was not Moses that gave you bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So much as I have access to that bread, I've got access to heaven itself. And I'm not seeing anything that's keeping me from that. Let's turn to our loving Father, confident that you will hear and answer the prayers which we offer in Christ's name. For the church, 
people of God, may we, with the help of the Holy Spirit, continue to grow in the likeness of Christ. We pray. Lord, for world leaders, may God bless their efforts to work for the betterment of all whom they serve. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, may they be com comforted by the Lord's abiding presence and his redemption of their suffering. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may this Eucharistic celebration strengthen us in mind, body, and spirit. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For James Rutherford and John Landon, I am, er I am Mario, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all those who have died. May God, who is mercy, shower his mercy upon them. We pray. Mighty God, our Father, please hear and answer these, our prayers, both spoken and unspoken, which we offer from our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. While the deacon's preparing the altar, let me share a little funny story with you. Kathy Hampton, for whom we just prayed, wife of Deacon Bill Hampton, we sent a mass card, but apparently the language on the mass card was a little confusing, and it looked as though we were praying for the repose of her soul. Uh, I've known them forever. They were, uh, their father was a deacon when I was in Cedartown. And uh, I called Bill and I said, well, Bill, what, what's it like to be married to a ghost? <laughs> he laughed and Kathy laughed. We had a good chuckle. Uh, rumors of her demise have been greatly exaggerated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth is given in human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you've given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. The integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, Joel and Bernard, his auxiliaries, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of our glory be yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer to each other a sign of peace, which was your line. God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, you stand under my roof. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives.